Hiya, you all right? Welcome to Nick's Kitchen. What a beautiful autumn day. I can't believe how warm it is. Sun shining, lovely and fresh this morning. I've had all sorts done today, but what am I going to do now? Well, is it too soon to say Christmas? Too soon? No? Well, I've got some leftover turkey and ham, as you do. This is great for Christmas or Easter or whenever you've got leftover meat. I'm going to make a turkey and ham pie in a lovely creamy leek sauce. This is my leftover meat. There's a good amount there. I've chopped three leeks and I'm just braising them in a little bit of oil and water just till softened. I've got a little bit of chicken stock so I'm just going to put some of that in. If you don't have any just use water. These are softening up really nicely. We want them soft. We don't want hard leeks in our pie. Go in with 300 ml of double cream. Anything with cream in is just gorgeous, isn't it? I'm just going to snip in some parsley. About a good couple of tablespoons. If you haven't got fresh parsley, just put a tablespoon of dried parsley in. Use what you've got. I'm putting in a teaspoon of black pepper. If you like white pepper, use white pepper. You do you. It's starting to look like a sauce you would really like to eat. Now my meat's cold and we want that sauce cold because if you start putting that into pastry, hot sauce into cold pastry, it's just going to make a mess. So pop your sauce in the fridge. This is nice and cold, it's just out of the fridge. My meat's cold, it's been in the fridge. I'm going to mix it all together. This happens to be sliced if yours is chunky. You know what? It doesn't matter. It all goes in the sauce. I haven't used all of the meat. I'll keep some back for sandwiches. And give your sauce a taste. Now that's lovely. Salt and pepper it, do what you want with it then, but make sure you've tasted it. Doesn't it look just gorgeous? Okay, now pastry. You know I'm not going to make my own. I don't have time for the clart or the faff of making my own pastry, especially when what you can buy is, is cheap enough and it's good. So, I've got a tray as well. I bought these trays today, I bought two. They're the Go Cook trays in out of Tesco's and they were on sale today so I bought myself two so I'll take this off and I'll just give it a wash so short crust pastry pick a rectangle tin or a square tin because your pastry is rectangle don't give yourself the nightmare of trying to get rectangular pastry into a circular tin go rectangle or square we're all about life, life being easy and simple. So unroll your pastry. Rolling pin, I want it a bit thinner. And I'm just gonna give it a roll out. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of flour, just because it's a little bit sticky. Just a little bit. Just stops it sticking. Now, Put your pie in a metal dish because metal conducts the heat better than pot. Just made it a bit wider and a bit thinner. Pick it up on its paper. Just tip it in. Peel the paper off. We're not trying to win any prizes at the WI, so it doesn't matter if it's not that neat and just if you get any little holes with a little bit of spare pastry just plug them up there we go that's good enough spoon in your filling i've managed to get all that meat in there you don't want too much sauce you don't want it all over bubbling or do you maybe you do you do you so take another roll of pastry, 
we don't want to roll this one out because this one doesn't need to come up the sides so the size of this one is spot on and just roll it over the top simple as that and tuck it in tuck it in and down the sides put your pie to bed there it is i had a few gaps but i've plugged them up but don't worry about it it's not pie week on bake off it's just your own kitchen beat an egg and just brush the top of your pie that'll make it go all golden it's important to put your pie in a metal dish because metal conducts heat um, better than a, a pot dish so it you won't have a soggy bottom is what I'm trying to say it'll make sure that your pie cooks all the way through without any need for part baking so this is why metal pie dishes are always better Put a couple of holes in the middle, just a couple, just to let any steam out. Now that goes in a 180 oven, not sure how long for, until it's good and golden and crisp. In she goes. I've done these vegetables earlier. I'm all about making everything in advance, prepping it and then it's just good to go. Just some new potatoes, green beans, carrots and sprouts. They're cooked. I've peeled the, I took the skins off the potatoes once they were cooled down. And I'm just going to reheat them. If you reheat them in the oven with your pie for about half an hour, they'll come out as good as new. You just need a drizzle of olive oil, a couple of knobs of butter. Cover it in foil. And that'll steam away nicely for the last half hour of cooking and you're good to go i got these as well i couldn't resist pigs in blankets i've not made my own i just picked them up i thought we're having turkey we may as well have a sprout and a bit of cranberry sauce and who doesn't love a pig in blanket it doesn't have to be christmas how good does this look all bubbling. How gorgeous does that look? Just unwrap your vegetables. Don't give yourself a steam burn. Who wouldn't want to dig into that? I can't wait. I'm famished. Pipe and hot, delicious. Okay, I've sliced it. Let's try and grab a slice. Let's try and grab. I mean, look at that, how full and gorgeous. Just look at the inside. Amazing. Let's try this pie. If you want to use puff pastry, absolutely fine, you do you. Bit of cranberry sauce. Good oh, hot. And that sauce is running out of there. Ooh. Such a lovely thing to do with leftover meat. This will feed six to eight people. I'm going to have to blow it because it's burning my mouth. Ian's took his. And I just couldn't resist a little pig in a blanket. It was in the oven for about 45 minutes. The pastry's cooked all the way through. No soggy bottoms here. Give it a go. Give it a go. It's great just to get everyone to help themselves. Just put it out. Put your vegetables, your potatoes, your pie out. Do it as I've done it, all in the oven, all together. Love a sprout. Easy. Easy done. 
give it a go whatever you do have a fabulous evening and i shall see you soon i'm going to take this in front of the telly and sit and relax i've had such a busy day and i'm going to enjoy this i want a, a big glass of water in fact i've got one here because my tongue's burning always burning my mouth so i'm going to enjoy this now whatever you're having for your tea enjoy it and i shall see you soon don't forget to like and share and i totally appreciate you following bye